everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make a music visualization in Eevee. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, the link is in the description. Okay, so let's start off by adding the music, so let's go into the video sequencer, and I click add, and then sound, and then you can download the mp3 file in the link below, or you can use your own soundtrack, and then let's go back to Blender, open the mp3 file, and enter, and uh, next to the soundtrack you can see how many frames the music equals to, so let's set it to 5089, and uh, let's go back to the 3D viewport, and let's start off by adding the uh, ocean modifier. And then let's set the resolution to uh, 14, and the scale to 0.1. And I click S, then 10, to scale the mesh 10 times. Let's also decrease the choppiness and set it to 0. And then we're going to animate the uh, time. So click I to keyframe. And then let's go to the last frame. And uh, then let's set the uh, time to uh, 250. And then click uh, I to keyframe the new value. And uh, then we need to open a new window because right now the uh, animation type is not linear. So let's go into the graph editor. And then click T to set the keyframe interpolation to the linear type, which means that the uh, speed is constant throughout the whole animation. Okay, so let's go back to frame 1. And then click I to keyframe the size. And then we're going to bake the music to the keyframe. So select the keyframe, and then click Bake to F-Curves, and then select the uh, music. And for this visualization, we're going to use the whole range of uh, frequencies for one value, which is the size. And when we play the animation, the size variable changes with the music. Now, the next step of this tutorial is to add the wireframe modifier, and then we're going to set up the scene, the lighting, and then the render itself. So uh, let's pause the animation. Then let's go to frame 1. And then go to add modifier. And then select the wireframe modifier. And uh, let's go to one of the later frames to see what it looks like. And... Uh, Let's uh, decrease the uh, thickness, so let's set it to 0 0.005. Now let's save the project before we continue, so go to uh, File, and then Save As, and then give the file a name, and you can save it wherever you want on the computer, and then click Enter, and then go to Add, and let's add a plane. Then click G, then Set to grab it on the Z axis, and then click S to scale up the plane. You can just click S, then uh, 10 a uh, few times. And then let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like when it's rendered. And uh, let's go into the world settings and add a background image. So environment texture, open, and you can download a free background image in the link below. Just use the factory catwalk. And then let's go back to Blender, open the file. And as you can see, we have the background image. And then we need to add a material for the uh, plane. So we'll go into the material. And then new. And then let's change it to the uh, glossy shader. Let's set the roughness to about 0.25. And let's make it uh, dark. So something like this. And then let's add a material for the visualizer as well. So uh, let's use the uh, glossy shader. And uh, decrease the roughness. And then I'm going to make it uh, blue. It doesn't have to be blue, so just add a color that you like. And then we need to select the light source and uh, add some lighting to the scene as well. So uh, let's turn it into a sun. And then let's set the strength of the sun to uh, 50. And then let's go into the render settings. And then let's turn on screen space reflections. And then uh, refraction. And you can also turn on Bloom if you want to. And I 
can uh, change the settings of the bloom but for this tutorial I'm not going to use the bloom effect so I'm just going to turn it off but you can use it if you want to now let's set up the camera so click numpad 0 to uh, look through the camera and I click N and then view and then let's uh, lock the camera to the view let's go backwards and uh, select the uh, camera and let's increase the range so increase the end value and then let's try a few different frames to make sure that the visualizer does not reach the floor okay so i think that's good and uh, let's make a test render before we continue so uh, start off by changing the display mode to uh, the image editor and I click render image okay and uh, then let's go into the uh, render settings and let's set the amount of uh, samples to 100 both for the render and the viewport and then in the output settings let's uh, select a folder for the final animation you can use either PNGs or uh, render the video directly so uh, just uh, select a folder on your computer and you can create a new folder and then once you have the folder select the folder and then give the animation a name You can render these out as PNGs and then add the sound in a different program later on or you can uh, render it out as a video directly in Blender by using the FFmpeg and then mpeg4 and uh, then almost lossless when it comes to the uh, compression and you can also add the sound under audio and select mp3 and uh, that's it for the render settings so uh, let's go to render and then click render animation and uh, that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i will post more blender 2.8 tutorials very soon so uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe